There's a computer build. Uh, I did without a uh, without a case. I guess I suppose I could have used one, but I really didn't want to. So I just used a board. I put it behind the treadmill, and uh, we can get on here and surf the net while we're on the treadmill. Uh, might my son plays a lot of Steam games, and uh, it'll do about anything you want it to do. This one, uh, I have it overclocked uh, through the bowels. The temperatures with the uh, water cooler on it's uh, 39 Celsius, 102 Fahrenheit. That's it's overclocked a little bit, uh, 407, and uh, it's got a couple of showing a couple of fan speeds there. Uh, I still have another fan coming, and the only thing I really have to be only have to worry about, if anything, I, not the case getting uh, heat, is just the ambient temperature of the room. And uh, I was a little bit concerned about the move, movement of the treadmill, but uh, it's hanging in there pretty good without using any brackets or anything. I made a few and uh, I like, uh, I grew up liking tape and Velcro so I've used that. Used some wood screws and uh, put this thing together pretty quickly really. And it, uh, with the graphic situation on it, I can uh, keep it on the treadmill. I can boot out to a uh, 32 inch uh, Sony here. But usually I just keep it right here. That looks strange, but that's my thumb drive I used to transfer files. And uh, I just set up a little USB thing there, it's running off the motherboard. And uh, I'm going to reboot this and uh, let me escape here. It's uh, like I said, it's a modest overclock of a 407 right now. I have another uh, 80 millimeter and a 120 millimeter band coming. So uh, here's a, I can boot to a Windows 7. I have that on a Raptor. And also, I can go to an earlier version which is uh, XP. Uh, the XP Professional is 32-bit uh, and the Windows 7 is 64-bit. So I can take advantage of the 8 gigs of RAM I have on it, Jaws. Here's how I did it. I just ran a board across here. Have a uh, ordinary Logitech uh, USB small keyboard. Later on I'll get a lighted one. My son uses uh, some kind of a gaming keyboard. Also I have a TrackMan uh, mouse and I, I do that so I can set it on this board. I'm gonna sand it down a little bit, paint it and uh, uh, probably set it up for a gaming uh, rig really and uh, uh, in the back here I'll show you how I did it. I just actually just used some wood, ordinary wood and bear with me and uh, there's the motherboard uh, of course, uh, it's a little ASRock. Didn't pay much for it. Uh, about fifty something dollars. Uh, the XP is on the SSD drive. It's a forty gigabyte. I bought that at uh, New Egg. Uh, there's a uh, H50, a Corsair H50 uh, water cooler. There, it's doing a good job. I'm gonna put another fan on this side of it. Also, the treadmill has a fan there too. So there's two fans there, and uh, it does the temperatures okay. And uh, no water has five eggs for reviews. That's why I bought it. It's my second one. Uh, my son has a six core. Uh, he's running uh, with one of these, and it does a good job. And uh, also, I have some uh, miscellaneous drives. Uh, this is a Roswell uh, case that has a two terabyte Hitachi in it, and uh, I have it unplugged right now. But uh, it it just it's for storage, and uh, it, that little case there has a fan. There's a power supply. All, all, all this is going to be in the specs, and uh, uh, it came from New Egg. The case enclosure came from New Egg. The two terabyte drive came from New Egg. SSD drive came from New Egg. Uh, the eight gigabyte of Rip Jaws came from New Egg, and um, the motherboard, the graphics card came from New Egg, and it also has HDMI out, and also uh, they have an LG with a light scrub. It's an IDE. Uh, interface and everything else is SATA. So, uh, and there's a 500 gigabyte Western, everything's Western Digital with the exception of the two terabyte. I got it on sale at anyway. So, uh, that's what I have running. And anytime I want to, there's a 70 gig Raptor. I have a 150 gig Raptor and, um, and that's just a regular 500, uh, 7200 RPM. So that's how I have it set up and it's just screwed. I have it all set off the board so it can get air under there and I have it vented under there. And uh, 
there it all is. It's, it's working really good. And uh, there's my power supply. Then I've got this up back here, and it looks kind of messy, but it gets. I didn't need a case. I just put it behind the treadmill, and as you see it, there it goes. And it'll play just about anything. Actually, it'll play anything you throw at it, I think. And if not, I'll switch graphics card. But right now, I, I wanted to give a uh, HIS or his uh, uh, some play. It seems like they got some pretty decent reviews. So so far, I just have it hooked there. But I can, like I said, go HDMI out if I want to. And I ran the uh, speaker wires through there uh, to the monitor and there's the monitor switch turning on and off and if I want to part down completely I just hit that switch and that's about all of it and uh, all right it works pretty good and here's the cooling system I put in it uh, rip jaws there's the motherboard that has rock and uh, so far they've treated me pretty good I've I've built, uh, I think, three computers with them so far. Okay, with the uh, G-Skill uh, rip jaws, it's showing up. Uh, uh, it, it's showing up as uh, 8192 megabytes of uh, total memory, and uh, the graphics card has uh, one gig on it. And uh, I bumped the speed up right here to uh, 40, 80 megahertz. So it'd be 4.08, and uh, I didn't do the one-click overclock, uh, the utility that comes with ASRock. I did it here. I just went to the uh, CPU uh, frequency here, and I bumped it up right there. So you just go in and uh, here, and you can also overclock the uh, graphics card too. But I'm not doing that yet, and. Uh, I just went to the wrong spot, sorry. So, this one's for the CPU at the top, sorry about that. Hit enter, and then you can go where you want to put it, and I put mine at uh, 20%, right there, and then, then you just hit that, and then you hit, uh, um, well, I'll just show you how to do it. Sorry, I'm holding this camera at the same time. Go down here. 20%. Got it. And you make sure you're up at the top. CPU overclock setting. And do that. Then hit F10. And then hit OK. And it shuts off scary fast. Uh, and you think something's wrong with it. But it'll boot back up. And it's showing the speed right now at 4.07 gigahertz. Sometimes it's 4.07. Sometimes it's 4.08. I don't know what's up with that. Then I can go to Windows 7 here. And you can hear the Raptor back there clicking. That's what they do. But uh, I've used a bunch of them for a lot of years and they're okay. I bought uh, uh, a bunch of those Raptors over the years and they I haven't had one fail yet. So I've been pretty fortunate, I suppose. Alright, that's what I got on that. And that's how I overclocked it. And uh, the one click uh, thing, uh, utility is okay, but I'd rather not do it like that. Let's go into the BIOS and do it. Hit F2 and you're in. There you go. Okay, this is on the uh, uh, XP side. This is also where we have the uh, uh, SSD drive. And the graphics card is doing pretty good on the Tomb Fortress 2. And how many frames a second we get? Mm, about 60. About 60 games. And is that about average what you run? Uh, yeah. Alright. That's why. So treadmill pretty fast action on the uh, graphics card mm -hmm. and like I said this is a usually I, I go with a lot different type of graphics card but I want to give it a shot it's a pretty good price uh, mid-range I guess but uh, it does what we need to do on the treadmill We're getting our exercise on get you get your shotgun on and that's mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. all right and that's it